Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mystic Beauty, <clears throat> and I'm here, <clears throat> excuse me, to do another general energy reading. I hope all of you guys are doing well. So, um, let's just go ahead and just jump right into this. And also, for those of you guys that were still interested in the link to the virtual um, Divine Feminine Retreat, the link to that will be in the description box as well. <clears throat> Also, at the end of the video, there will be an extended, and in the extended, we will uh, we will uncover what is in this person's heart space, what secrets are they keeping from you, uh, what are their intentions, and what's the possible outcome. So, stay tuned for that. You know, if um, there's something interesting, it will be in the description box as well. So, let's go ahead and get this thing popping. Let me, I don't want to start with those. Or do I want to start with those? Let's start with those. Okay, Spirit, go ahead and let me know what's going on with the situation with, with this person. What's going on with the situation with this person, Spirit? Wow, you were dealing with somebody that was fraud. Okay, this person was fake, fake, fake. <laughs> fake, 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 fake. No, I'm just laughing. I'm just laughing. Anyway, yeah, this person just, this person did not show their true feelings. Um, this person would gaslight you and this person will make you feel like things were one way and it really wasn't. Um, this person, it's, it's crazy because though this person was fake with you, this person has a lot of feelings for you. This person like, look at your pictures. They're hoping to make some new memories with you, but I don't know if you're having that though. I, I just don't know if you're having that. Look at that. Looking at your pictures, the camera. Okay. Reminiscing keepsake perception. And this person, um, no, you're hoping that this person has learned from the past. You want to make new memories with this person as well, but you, you are afraid that this person has not learned from their mistakes, that they have not learned um, from the past. That's what this is. Yeah. Um, this person also has some type of an addiction. So your person is addicted to, and I really feel like this is sex. Also, this person is addicted to hiding who they are too. Like y'all think, like you wouldn't think that that exists, but people are addicted to being fake. They just are. They just get like a, a, a rush or a high out of not truly, you know, expressing themselves or showing themselves genuinely, truly authentic. Not, you know, just, I just feel like you want this person to like come to you naked and I don't mean, well, for some of you guys, that's really what you want. <laughs> but I mean, I don't mean like actually, you know, I mean like you want this person to bear all. Like, you know, just be who you are, right? Love call. Wow. Somebody about to express some love to you. This person is ready to express some love to you, right? After after a while of um, not expressing themselves or sh like wearing a mask, this person is... Um, ready to express their emotions to you so for some of you guys you should definitely be expecting a phone call this person has been doing a lot of thinking about you wow this is your soulmate so you definitely have had have shared um many lifetimes with this person you have some type of soul contract with this person you do so this is deeper than what the eyes can see this is why it was so hard for you to walk away from this person. It's still hard for you to walk away from this person. It's hard for this person to walk away from you too, but no lie, I didn't stop this person from being fake. I feel like there's two sides to this person. It's like the side that they show you and the side that they hide from you with this mask card here. This person don't show their true feelings. They like to hide behind this mask. <clears throat> Talking, um, awaited messages text call yeah some of y'all about to get some type of communication from this person okay for and others you guys if you are on social media or you on the internet or you have some type of platform this person watch you on social media like they watch you i'm i mean oh my god i just want to know about this mask card what, what's going on what is going on spirit wow okay so this person oh my god for some of you guys, this person had many options. For some of you guys, this person could have been married with um, wedding rings. Yeah. Hides their hands. Um, this person... This person didn't take a chance with you. 
For some of you guys, this person is like a gambler or something like that. But they didn't take a chance with you. For whatever reason, they didn't feel like they should have risked it all with you, risk it all. But they should have. They should have. They actually would have would have been the better thing to do. Like this person would have actually came out on top if they would have um, put all of all of their emotions in your basket. Yeah, gambling is here again. You know, I just said that um, this person could definitely be could be um, a gambler. Yeah. Um, self-absorbed some of you guys are dealing with the narcissist and this was this is very much a one-sided relationship meaning you put more into this into this connection than your person did it's like they were always waiting for you to put in into the connection but they never put into the connection okay um this person view you as being stable and this person right now they may not be that stable but they definitely view you as stable but your problem is that you're not trying to be just looked at as a key on the ring because there's keys on this ring, right? You don't want to just be looked at as just an option, just another option that this person have. But for whatever reason, well, I ain't going to say for whatever reason, but I do want to say for it, but for whatever reason, this person really hold on to you. Like, they, they, they're refusing to let you go. They're not going to let you go. Wow. Okay, so, Spirit, go ahead and let's get more into this. Let's get more into this gambler, this person that gambled with your heart the way they did. Let's, let's talk more about this gambler, okay? This is a risk taker, but they make bad investments. This person makes very bad investments, okay? All the time. Yeah, this is somebody who want to be wealthy. You know, they want to be a business owner or something like that. They always got some type of scheme or something going on. Always on some on some type of come up, but it never it never falls through for this person. Like it never play out um, for this person's best interest at all. Okay. Wow. What's going on with this person's spirit? What tell me what's going on with this gambler? One more time. They gambled with my my family's heart. Wow. Imprisonment. Oh my God. Who y'all dealing with? Who are you guys dealing with? Because like this person has either been to jail or is currently serving time. Wow, despair. For some of y'all, this person could be going be in jail for child support or be going or could possibly go into jail for child support. This person could have recently lost their job or is about to be losing their job and they don't know it, but this is something that's coming up. Um three plus two is five. So this is this is divinely orchestrated to happen to give this person some type of reality check your, your person needed to be stripped down it's something about their ego something about their ego this person also feels imprisoned in, in some type of uh, another situation that they got themselves wrapped up into they actually could land this person in jail i'm not even gonna lie okay this really could land this person in jail your person is burdened. A lot of you guys have been having back pain, like lower back pains. You don't know why. That's because you're picking up on your person's energy. They're burdened. They got a lot going on. That's why your back hurting because they got a lot on their back. That's how divine connections work. You know, you you mirror your person. You know, like some of times, sometimes you will have um, headaches out the blue. You don't know why. That's because your person is going through a lot of anxiety. They stress. They stress. Now you you picking up on that energy. But this person def is definitely going through a lot. There are people watching this person, watching them struggle, talking about your person. You know, this is something of their own doing, though. For some of you guys, this person could be going to jail for some type of something dealing with gambling. Some type of uh, Ponzi scheme or something like that. This person is schemed out. I don't know why I'm picking up like a schemed out energy. Like they're always trying to come up. Wow. Okay. Okay, spirit, you know, we would definitely take it. We would definitely take it. But yeah, this person, they gambled with more than just their finances, okay? This person gambled with your heart as well. You know, this person's out here being a, a, a man whore, a woman whore. This person's out here being a player, player from the Himalayas, okay? They was. So, two more times, spirit. One, two. Wow. 
This is somebody who got ego, ego, ego. Okay? And this person, so it's like they always got their ass on their shoulders. They want to be in control. They don't know how to lead. They don't know how to do this. This person, you know, the five of swords is all about pride and ego as well. It's all about um, lying, someone being dishonest. Someone acting out of their ego. This person needs to let their guards down. You know, I feel like this person has really burned a lot of people in their life, including you. Look at that. Look at that. This person could be in conflict with someone else. I'm going to take all of these because they're telling me to turn them around. But I mean, the messages are the same, though. The messages are the same. You're dealing with a boss figure. But this person, it's like they take, you give them a little control and they just go too far. Your person always stuck in their head over every move. They always overthinking. There was definitely some type of third party situation that went on, though. That that's a oh, wow. I didn't even realize the three of swords is clarifying the five of swords. This is letting me know that, that there could there's a possibility of a third party situation, right? That end up breaking your heart. I'm gonna clarify this on the other side because on the on on. The extended, we're gonna we're really gonna dig into what this person is hiding. But for a lot of you guys, you already know. You already know that there was a third party situation. That they're, they're definitely lying to you about um something dealing with a third party for sure. They are, and this person is guarded. They're guarded. They keep a a, a shield up around them because they don't want you to know the truth. What did I say? A shield up around them, hermit. This person is. They stay distant from you. Because they don't want you to know the truth. I'm going to leave that down there. Just know your person lacks clarity. Okay? There's a lot of clarity that's being lost. Be, not being had. A lot of you guys are um, mystics. and Intuitive readers. Um, with the high priestess and the king of pentacles being here. So a lot of you guys use your mystical gifts. Your spiritual gifts. To be very abundant and prosperous in your life. This person see you doing this. And they're wondering like how in the hell. Is this person. Is my person able to be this prosperous. And I'm struggling. Because no lie. Your person is struggling. But I feel like your person is struggling due to karma. Because I mean I feel like this person has burnt a lot of bridges. Not even just with you. But this person has burnt a lot of bridges. You know they, they always stuck in their head. Spirit is taking your person through this. Because they're wanting them to wake up and smell the coffee. Or the roses or whatever. You know this person is, is um, avoiding some type of transformation. They've been avoiding it. Remember I said that some of y'all back been hurt because y'all burden. The Ten of Wands is a burden card. His back is toe up because he's he's carrying all these wands, right? Wow. Mm. Juggle, juggle, juggle. Indecision. You know, this person is juggling whether or not who, the, who they should leave out in the cold. No lie. Well, who, who should I walk away from? Should I walk away from the karmic? Should I walk away from, you know, um, my divine feminine or my divine masculine? What should I do? For some of y'all, this person has more than one karmic. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of picking up on multiple karmic energies here. But for whatever reason, there was definitely some type of lie and deception dealing with some type of third party situation that ultimately caused you to be heartbroken for sure. So, I mean, that that's, that goes without them cards that even have to come out to pick up that energy, okay? Y'all already knew, but y'all are the high priestess, you know, so in the upright, so y'all intuition be shopping all the time. Ain't nobody got to tell y'all nothing. Y'all already know what time it is, okay? All right, so go ahead and give me some final messages. What's going on? Some final messages, spirit. Give me some more messages. Time. clarity and belief wow like i said this person has been your person has been avoiding some type of transformation they lack clarity the butterflies here talking about some type of transformation they're going to go through this transformation because change with these type of connections are inevitable so it's going to happen right your person is needed to release something release so they can have this beautiful new beginning with you they've been they've been holding out i ain't gonna lie this person has been holding out okay so 
that'll be all you guys um if this resonated with you and you really want to know like dig deeper on what's going on follow me over to the extended you click the link in the description box over there uh, we will be figure we will be finding out what this person is hiding what is it they want from you what's the possible outcome and what is in their heart space um uh, i will clarify what's in their heart space with my mystic bees official unofficial cards so i'll use these over on the other side as well that is all i love each and every one of you guys so much if you have not hit that subscribe bell what are you waiting for right go ahead and do that that'll be all you guys peace